Hey guys, it's Silver Snorlax, and that uniquely stacked pile of PSA cards is in fact PSA Returns number 7. Nine different users, including myself, and about 30 different cards. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is what I always do. Uh, break them down, show you what everybody got, and uh, don't forget you can check out uh, links to the different users in the description below. Also, I'm going to mention it now. If you're interested in having your cards PSA graded, feel free to drop me a PM, and I'll work something out with you. Alright, let's get straight into it. First guy I had to send with me is somebody who hasn't sent with me before. Uh, actually, I believe it's two people. Pokemon Bros. 1000. Uh, they sent two cards. Brizion, Full Art. Uh, that's uh, Mint 9. And a Mew Half Art. Also a Mint 9. Nice cards. Not too bad for your first time sending either. I'll mention that right away. If you can pull off Mint 9s, you're generally doing something right. Uh, next user I have sending with me. Uh, interesting username, I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Band RSN 21 uh, feel free to correct me. Uh, he's actually fairly active on the channel, he tends to comment quite a bit, so I'm happy I could help him out and get some cards created for him. Uh, he had quite a bit of good stuff come through. Uh, Mewtwo Gold Star came back as a Gem Mint 10. It's a great card. I like the artwork, I like the holographic background. Uh, also, Groudon Gold Star. Nice card as well. Delta Species. Uh, had had uh, a unlimited Shining Gyarados come through uh, from the Revelation. Uh, I actually own this card myself. It's a nice card. Uh, so good, good, uh, good grade there. Card that's definitely worth a couple of bucks. Uh, Shining Noctowl, Gem Mint 10, first edition from Neo Destiny. Great grab. And the last card he had uh, come through was a Gem Mint 10. Uh, shiny Kaboot Tops, unlimited, but uh, still not bad. For your first time sending, you got straight tens. That's great. That's fantastic. That very rarely happens, but good job. Uh, good stuff there. Next, we have Pokey Full Art Trader, who sent with me before he had a couple of good things come through. Uh, we have Crobat, derived as a Mint 9. Sky Ridge Kaboot Tops. Uh, I believe he had two of these sent. Yes, he did. Both Gem Mint 10. Very colorful cards, lots of sheen, lots of sparkle. And uh, probably my favorite card that he sent out of the group was uh, Nidoking, Quapolis. It's a beautiful crystal. Good stuff there. Next user, also a new guy, Raylan, NN55. Not quite sure how that one's pronounced either. Some of you guys, colorful usernames, let me tell you. Uh, Mint9. Uh, Jungle Vileplume, Japanese version. I actually really like this card. I'm trying to find it first edition um, in English, but I can't seem to find it graded for a decent price. I see people asking 150 and I know it's not worth that much, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait it out, see see what happens. And uh, the other thing that came through for him was a Nearman 8 first edition Haunter from Fossil, which I actually thought this one had arrived to me. It might come back lower, but uh, he did pull off a Nearman 8, which isn't too bad, so good stuff there. Another guy I'd send with me, this is Minute, with ones in exchange for the eyes. Uh, I know he told me he pulled this card himself, uh, and this is what I always caution people whenever you're buying packs or booster boxes or something. Cards can still be damaged in the pack, just because they're in the pack doesn't mean they're mint. Uh, I've always stressed that to people, and uh, unfortunately, he did have a Raichu level X come back as a near mint 8, however, the rest of his returns weren't bad. Um, Gem Mint 10 uh, Raichu EX from Sandstorm. This is a cool, cool card. I like that little bubble effect around Raichu. Uh, Mint 9 Tranitar EX. Really cool card. I like how much color is involved with this particular card. There's uh, some yellow, you've got some blues and some greens. Uh, a little bit of reddish brown in there in the background. It's a little tough to see on camera, but it's a really nice card. Had a Mint 9 uh, Mew EX come back from Holland Phantoms. That's a good card. And he sent uh, two Mewtwo EX's full arts. This one came back as a Mint 9, and the second one came back as a Gem Mint 10. So congrats there. Uh, really nice card. I really like this one myself. I own one in the Mint 9 version, but I can't seem to find find one uh, worthy of grading that would be Gem Mint 10. So put that out of the way. Another guy sending with me for the first time, Santario 2. Again, hope I'm pronouncing these right. Uh, this one disappointed me a little bit. I thought it might come back a little bit, um, a little bit um, 
lower actually because um, I did notice some corner corner wear on this particular card but it's a Militic uh, from Dragon Frontiers, the Japanese version, near mid 8. Still not bad. It's a beautiful card. Really, it is. I like how the red and the blue just kind of all just kind of mash in there together. It looks really good. Wish it came back higher, but that happens from time to time. Uh, we've got an, I uh, can't pronounce it, Ara's Mute, Ara uh, Lucario. Probably botching some of the living daylights out of these names, but that's fine. Uh, this came from a movie versus pack. I actually don't know too much about the set. But uh, glad it came back as a mint nine. Mint nine is not bad, and the best one in the group, and the shiniest one by far, uh, Galactic Conquest uh, Drapion Level X, Japanese version. This is also a first edition. There's a little stamp in the corner, a little hard to see, but uh, tons and tons of sparkle to it. It's a really nice card, so a very good one uh, to have graded. Next we have MTL Baller 100. The guy that PMs me quite a bit. He sent off a couple of cards to have graded. Uh, this one was just a uh, Ryoku EX, uh, just the half art variant uh, from Dark Explorers. Nice card, Mint 9. And uh, this one was something that intrigued me a little bit. This is, I guess, a um, Pokemon Center promo of some kind. Uh, just has every series of evolutions on it, which is really cool with the Pokemon Center in the background. So this is a really cool card. I like how, uh, how that artwork is done. That's just something unique. You don't see stuff like that every day, especially not graded, but it came back as a 10 form, so that's something that's just really unique. Finally, we're getting into my own stuff. I sent a couple of things. I haven't had a lot of luck with uh, uh, with the secret rares coming back um, higher than mint 9, but uh, this, this one was uh, no exception to the rule for whatever reason. This one did come back as a mint 9. It's a go lurk. I really like the card, that gold border in particular. But I finally lucked out because the next card I had graded was a Uniclus. Came back as a gem in 10. So very happy I finally got a secret rare that was in fact graded a 10. I have lots of 9s but no 10s. So glad this is the first one I got back. And the final card I had graded, Lander CX Half Art, gem mint 10. I was just a big fan of the artwork. I know it was worth quite a bit. At least at some point it might still be. But uh, in graded condition I have no idea what it would go for. So cool card. Finally, last user I had send with me. This is the guy that's been sending with me since PSA Returns number one, so I'm always happy to get his stuff. Uh, he got some really nice cards. You guys should be happy you've made it this far through the video. First up, Charizard EX Mint 9. Not a bad grade, certainly worth quite a bit, I'm sure. Great card, everybody's after it. Tons of demand for it. Um, definitely something that you could resell if you wanted to. Next card, Shining Charizard. Uh, this is from Neo Destiny. This is just the unlimited version, but it's still worth something, I guarantee you. Uh, great card yet again. I believe I've had other Shining Charizards graded for him as well, uh, and they look great. All right, you guys ready for the last card? She's beautiful. You ready for this? First edition base set, Charizard. Obviously the Shadow Shadowless variant. Gem in 10. This card is worth quite a bit. I've actually looked up some of the auctions, especially some of the recent auctions, and this card is going for over three and a half. Um, three and a half grand, for those who don't know. Uh, if you'd asked me a year ago what this card's worth, it would have been worth a little under 2,000, maybe a little more. Uh, it's amazing how much this card has jumped. This card is worth quite a bit these days. Um, it's very, very rare for a PSA card to do that. But in this case, it has. Uh, there's tons of demand for this card and lots of buyers in the market. So awesome, awesome grab for uh, Mr. California Hayes. Uh, could not be happier for him. Uh, I feel like this card deserves its own video, quite frankly. It's a great card. Um, so totally happy to have that um, done for him. He's got some great Charizards. He's, he always sends me great stuff, and I'm always happy to have it. But uh, now that I've finished up with this particular video, you have to box these up, send them back to the rightful owners, uh, get all that out of the way. And again, guys, just to remind you, if you are interested in having your cards graded, please feel free to PM me. I can do that work for you. Uh, I'll send you a video with all the information that you need, blah, blah, blah. We'll get something worked out. But uh, yeah, good stuff. Great round. Uh, fantastic round. Uh, glad, I could, uh, glad I could do this once again. I do have another round coming up. Uh, I have another round being collected, so lots going on on the channel. So... Just drop me a line, let me know what's going on, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.